Hello friends! Welcome to my channel! My name is Megan. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you want to subscribe, that would be so awesome. Click the little red button down there so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today, I am doing an update on our garden. So, it's not actually good news. <laughs> um, two days, well, the week we planted the garden, um, the forecast looked really, really nice. And the day after we planted, we were forecasted some rain. And then two days later, we were forecasted for a little rain. And I thought that was perfect. Give everything a nice sprinkle, and then a couple days later, a nice sprinkle. And it seemed pretty perfect. Turns out, not so much. Turns out that first shower that was predicted was tornadoes. No joke. Like tornado warnings for about 12 hours that day. And uh, funnel clouds spotted pretty darn close, but no confirmed tornadoes. Uh, but yeah, torrential downpours for hours. And wind and just... <laughs> awfulness it w it was pretty bad and instead of it being rain one day and then rain two days later it was three days of rain pretty sure you can guess what happened but I will give you the tour and uh, show you what happened sunflower house if you will remember we put the seeds in and they have started sprouting we have some sunflowers, some sunflowers. Some of these holes kind of got filled in a little bit, but we've got sunflowers coming up. Couple of them, there's no sign of anything. I might stick some, uh, oh, this hole got filled in all the way. But a couple of them, there's another sunflower. There's nothing, so I might stick another seed in and see um, if it just needs a new seed. We'll see. But that is the sunflower house, and we will probably put those new seeds in later this week. And, um... oh, hello, baby. We'll probably put them in later this week, as well as our uh, pole beans. We have our raised beds, and this one is cilantro. And look, tons of cilantro. Woohoo! So many cilantro babies. Lots and lots. Our lavender is very happy with life. Our two rosemary are also feeling great and we've got parsley coming up. Yes, parsley, parsley, woohoo! So, yes, our raised beds are doing well. And on to the big garden. For now, we have this super high-tech bow. That holds it closed. But, so, I don't know if you can tell, but this is hard packed, like just ridiculously packed dirt. So, pretty much the rain made everything just, when it dried, it became a thick crust. When I replanted some things, I literally had to pound down with the hand rake through a solid half inch crust of dirt. Like just, it was a literal crust and underneath it was really soft, nice soil. But that crust, I have, I have no doubt that's why nothing has sprouted. Nothing, not one seed that I have planted has sprouted. Um, the other thing we've had to contend with, do you see this? Moles. 
The moles have never, ever been a problem in our garden. But this year, they've decided burrowing under the garden is the thing. And we have cats. A cat, one in particular, who loves to uh, hunt moles. I might need to lock her in the garden. <laughs> so we've had moles in here. It literally goes down the line of where we planted the turnips. I'm guessing they went through and uh, got a bite to eat. Uh, some of our seedlings that we planted, we've got marigolds there, companion planted with peppers. Now our seedlings, like 99% of them did great. They got a little bit waterlogged. Some of them had too much water. And uh, like this one, it got a little sad, but they are regrowing with fresh green now. So, they're, they survived, they survived, and they're taking off again. But, our onions that I started back in February that were all through here, dead. Like, not a sign of them. Our little, our little baby onions that we grew and I put in there are gone. If you can see here, oh, more molehill. That was zucchini, or that was butternut squash. That was butternut squash. This is where zucchini was planted, nothing came up. That was marigolds, and it's now been dug up. I'm guessing a mole. <laughs> so that is the story with the garden. You can see it's got the green hue there, and that's like, that's kind of the, I guess algae for lack of a more sophisticated, specific knowledge, uh, growing from so much water. We, it is now the 17th of April. We are well past our danger of frost. We have not had any frost, any problem with frost. Here's where our zinnia seedlings are. You can see this one did all right. This one, it has some fresh green growing. So does that one. They just got so waterlogged. This here was our green beans. Nothing, not a thing. This was our watermelon. Do you see watermelon? Nope. It just rotted right away. Oh, sorry about the wind. Tomatoes. Now our tomatoes, I got covered with um, wood chips as soon as we planted them. And they did all right. This is basil, which we planted the next week with seedlings. And it's doing great. But the tomatoes, this is the uh, eggshell powder that I made. For the most part, they're doing all right. This one, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. But this one wasn't pleased. But it does have fresh green coming out. So... It might just be a little later in the season because it has to kind of regrow. Um, this one, same thing. Um, yeah. So we've got a couple of those that it was just too much water for them. This one as well, but it's got a good fresh shoot coming out the middle. But yeah, so the tomatoes are, are all right for the most part. Um, yeah and over here we are supposed to have pumpkin and corn and not so much um, yeah so we are just <laughs> replanting um, I'm going out oh, possibly tomorrow to get more seeds I'm planting or I'm placing an order Cooper come Dog has a bad habit of going into the neighbor's yard to poop. It's really embarrassing. But um, I'm placing an order with MI Gardener for the rainbow carrots and the daikon seeds that I need to buy again. And um, I am going to replant what I have. Oh, and the dill. 
still is not pleased with life. The teeny tiny lavender that I've grown from seed. It's a real warrior. <laughs> the dill, more dill, more dill. Not happy about life. Oregano, also thriving. Um, the onion sets that we purchased. Yeah, some of them still have some green, but for the most part, yeah, dead. I am so sad. I am so sad. <laughs> right here is where I replanted cucumber and nasturtium. And I immediately, like as I was planting, I would plant a hill and put a big, uh, a large pot like that we bought small trees in um, over the top of it to protect everywhere that I had planted. And then I just dumped a wheelbarrow full of wood chips and spread it out. And I did that all the way down. And that's just how I'm going to handle the rest of it since obviously the wood chips took good care of those tomatoes even in really harsh weather that killed almost everything else. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's the garden update. Oh, also another thing. When I planted those basil, it was later in the week. Um, or maybe a week later after I had planted the tomatoes. And when I pulled back these wood chips and I just used a trowel and dug just enough hole to put in some compost and the seedling. And oh my word, the number of worms. The soil was so much darker and more moist and soft in a good way, like not, not sloppy, muddy glop or anything from all the rain. The wood chips had like protected it enough that it was gorgeous soil. And I have never seen so many worms in my garden in one spot than underneath these wood chips. So even though we haven't formally done the back to Eden garden method yet, and it's just this little strip pretty much here, that we, have, that we have the wood chips on, the soil is so much happier under there. I am absolutely sold on this Back to Eden Garden method for soil health. Um, like I said in a previous video, um, we are transitioning to the Back to Eden Garden method. So we are mulching with wood chips, a good thick layer of wood chips, right now and then we are going to um, this fall prepare the garden for next spring, next spring in the traditional back to Eden method which is over the top of everything we will do a thick layer of compost uh, there are horse stables nearby we were going to ask for a load of um, horse manure essentially um, there from their older piles and then cover that with wood chips. So that's our plan for transition. I know I mentioned it briefly before, but that is the update on the earth garden. Take a little walk over here to our fruit trees that we just planted. Now it's been asked why I'm out of breath <laughs> on my videos. Um, I think it's because when I'm holding the camera like this to take it walking, you can just hear me breathing. I'm not actually out of breath. And I realize I've been trying to kind of hold my breath for this video so that you guys don't hear that. And I'm getting out of breath because I'm holding my breath. <laughs> but I'm not out of breath. I'm just breathing and this microphone does it. So this is the Gala apple tree and it is so happy. It has new little branches coming off. So happy. So many little branches. Lots of leaves. Cooper, come. And we have the Empire Apple Tree. Again, lots of branches and so many leaves, even down there at the bottom. It's a very happy little tree. Hi, Cooper. Oh, excuse me. Yawning. Hmm. Oh, there's a little ladybug on the peach tree. Hello, ladybug. But 
the peach tree is also super happy all the way down to the bottom. I need to read up on peach trees and see if that's if it's supposed to go all the way down the semi dwarfs. I don't know if I'm supposed to be pruning anything off at this point. And then a trip around, ooh, our mulberry tree. Last year we didn't get a very good, um, very good production from this tree. And I was bummed because I was so set to do something with our mulberries this year. And it did almost nothing. This year it's got lots of fruit on it already. So I'm excited about that. So around the fir trees we go, and this, I don't know, I've kind of given up hope on this one, guys. If you grow blueberries, or have started blueberries, tell me if this is a lost cause. They're not quite brittle, but uh, there's been no action, so I don't know. I don't know if I should do something differently. This one, though, it has some happy little things growing. Yay! These little balls that have been on the end are finally kind of budding out. I'm so excited. And our lilac is doing wonderful. We already had some gorgeous flowers from it, and they're finishing up now. Our property, we have our new raspberries that we planted. They are doing so great. They are already getting taller and growing new branches. So many happy leaves. They are all four doing very, very well. And this one especially, it's getting really tall. Looks like it might be getting some blossoms there. So, oh, that is it. The little update on our mini homestead, a little tour of what's going on. Um, let's see, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any uh, advice on what to do with that little blueberry bush, that would be awesome. Uh, if you have any, aside from getting a cat after them, suggestions on how to take care of those moles that are now burrowing in the garden. I would appreciate that too. Don't really want to poison anybody, but uh, they've got to go. Especially since they're very clearly already after the root vegetables. So, um, thanks for sticking around. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you again soon.